Hello and welcome to Credit Matters TV, the show highlighting standard and poor's analysis and global perspective on the latest credit market developments. I'm Steve Murphy, Managing Director and Head of Standard & Poor's U.S. Public Finance State and Local Government Group, and I'll be your host today. On January 5th, we published a commentary entitled, For U.S. State Budgets, Austerity is Here to Stay, that provides an update on each state's current year budget situation and also outlines what we see as key fiscal and policy challenges heading into the fiscal 2013 budget deliberations. Joining me today to discuss this report is Robin Fronty, Managing Director and Analytic Manager of our U.S. State Ratings Group. Robin, welcome to the show. Thanks. Just on background, um, U.S. state and local governments have certainly been in the news, more so than in the past over the, over the, the past year, 2011 into 2012. Can you give us some background on the time of the commentary and how states are faring in the current fiscal year? Yeah, uh, we typically do a budget overview uh, commentary when we have all the proposed budgets in. We decided to do it a little early this year to just give an update on where uh, state budgets were for the current fiscal year, how revenues were performing, and also to maybe just highlight some of the things that we see as key challenges heading into fiscal 2013. And how does the slow economic recovery factor into that in terms of revenue and overall performance? I think what we found is that for, for, for most states, revenues for the current fiscal year are performing in line with forecast, where there is some misalignment as has been the pattern over the past couple of years. States are moving very aggressively to address those uh, shortfalls for the majority of states. So uh, the recovery continues, it's at a slow pace, but I think our conclusion is that because they're, you know, the, the economic environment clearly uh, translates very directly to states because their uh, revenue streams are fairly uh, volatile and react very quickly to movements in the economy, and because of the uncertainty associated with, um, you know, the economic uh, climate going forward, we think that in combination with um, concern and uncertainty over um, federal fiscal consolidation, that this austerity climate will continue into fiscal 2013. Just one other question on state revs. If you look at the comparison between where they are now and where they were in prior quarters, is there any good news? Yeah, I think that, you know, the momentum on the revenue recovery has been pretty sustained, at, uh, you know, really across uh, nearly all states. Uh, that being said, it's still, uh, for many, below where it was at the, you know, peak heading pre into the recession. Yes. Yeah, pre-recession. Yes. So realizing it's a long list, what would you say are the key issues facing states as we go into 2013? Yeah, uh, I think the uh, federal fiscal consolidation potential for changes there is looming pretty large. I think um, what we will um, be focused on there is that states are going to have to prepare their budget and balance their budget before they really have a clear picture of what uh, will be, uh, you know, decided at the federal level. I think the economic uncertainty, um, one, the pace of the recovery has been very uneven, you know, across the U.S., which was the pattern during the recession as well. Um, but I think that there's a lot of headwinds facing states, so I think um, the uncertainty on the uh, economic climate, uh, Eurozone, other things that are going on will uh, translate to caution, I think, uh, really for uh, most of the states. After going through the historic recession and dealing with all the impacts of it, are there any, any fundamental changes that you can see in the way states operate? I think we, it's been our, um, you know, assessment that following recession, states make adjustments to their fiscal policy and, uh, you know, budgetary policies, and we're seeing that uh, begin. One trend that we are observing for many states is uh, restoring budget reserve funds that have been depleted through the recession. We're also seeing uh, greater emphasis on size of reserve funds and, um, you know, are they enough, are they sufficient? We're also seeing a movement, uh, increased movement toward long-term fiscal planning. All of these things, I think, are positive, and certainly improvements that have been made historically have positioned states well uh, through the current, you know, the recession that we just uh, went through, and we expect that to continue. Okay. Um, broad question, but can you talk a little bit about the overall credit performance of the sector? Yeah, I think that um, given the magnitude and duration of the recession, the credit 
profile of the sector remains fairly strong, and credit performance was actually um, fairly stable. We had obviously some downgrades, but we also had upgrades, most of them within a very narrow band of one notch. Um, we uh, probably have a mix right now, even mix of positive outlooks versus negative outlooks. So reflecting the challenges and uh, the uneven nature of the uh, recession and, the and recovery, yeah. So overall stable, and one important point is that we did not adjust any ratings immediately following the change in the U.S. rating. We think, obviously, uh, fiscal consolidation at the federal level will have impacts for the states, but we're going to look at that case by case. Okay. More to come on this, I'm sure, as yes. we go through 2012 yes. and 2013. Thanks for joining us. You're welcome. That concludes this edition of Credit Matters TV. See you next time. Mm -hmm.